Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's me, the gaffer, and today we're going to be looking at a YouTube football team, a Sunday league side, the OGs of YouTube football, who give me the inspiration to film my games. It's the one and only Palmer's FC. Now, the game I've picked today is an important game for them in a season. They've got so many seasons uploaded onto YouTube. Make sure you go and check them boys out over at their channel. But yeah, these boys are absolutely brilliant. If you like a bit of lower league stuff, spit and sawdust football, go and watch these boys. All right. Let's get straight into this video. I'm going to, I'll pause it throughout and we'll, we'll have a little chat now and again. But yeah, let's get into it. Welcome back to Sunday League Football in what is the final league game of the season. This isn't just one of those end of season games which means nothing. It's totally the opposite. It means everything. After 90 minutes, one of the two teams in action today will be crowned champions. As you can see from this table, we currently sit in second whilst our opponents sit one point behind us in third. There's three possible ways that this can go and two possible outcomes, of course. If Scruttons win this one, they win the league. If we grab all three points, then we win the league. But if it's a draw, we've got a little bit of an advantage. We will still win the league on goal difference. So with that in mind, we're going to be expecting our opponents to really come out and try and win this one. It's a one-off game. There's a a lot of nerves about let's find out the starting lineup for today. Yeah, see, seeing these team lineups and stuff, this is this is why I do it as well. Obviously, my editing skills compared to Smith, who run runs the Palmer's channel, it, it's it's worlds apart. He's like he's World Cup level at editing uh video videos on YouTube, where I'm a 37-year-old man who knew absolutely jack shit about editing a video or uploading or making a YouTube video until I started doing this 18 months ago. I am learning bit by bit, and I'll, my, our videos will get up to these kind of standards. But this is the early days. This is when he probably thought his videos weren't that good, but they were, they were brilliant in my eyes. And then he got up to a standard a couple of years ago, well, three three years ago, where he was doing Sky Sports-like team lineups and stuff like that, and it, it's absolutely brilliant. Because we all dream of being a pro footballer and when we're kids and... Yeah, like it doesn't matter whether you're Messi scoring at a World Cup or Dave scoring in a cow field on a Sunday after Sunday morning. It don't matter. Like you still get the same feelings. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's get on with this game. Luke and Tomo in the middle. Kieran is just ahead of them in the cam position. And up top for today, we've got Connor and Tugud. As for the subs today, it's any free from fire featuring the likes of Aaron, Tony, Scottish, Liam and Kev. Now, you might have noticed Nick, Magic Boots, our inform striker, is not available today. He's gone away for his birthday, but he has left us some words of encouragement. Big game today, boys. Winner takes all. Go in the can't be. <laughs> this bloke here, he's like their best striker. Called him Magic Boots, Nick. We've all got, we've all got a player on our side like Nick. Absolutely love him. Actually, you need to watch a season where they they win the treble. Absolute scenes. Like it's Ed Butter in a final. Massive gash on his head. Still celebrates a goal though. What a ledge. Be there with you, but I'm away. You know, I'm getting old now. Can he do it about magic boots? I fucking hope so. So go out there and fucking get it. You deserve it, boys. All right, come on, you palmers. So this is it, lads. You're about to see the whole season defined in one video let's do this kick off and i'm gonna say it because i haven't had the chance to say it this year we are top of the league say we are top of the league they should turn that into a song or something so anyway first real action of the game is with number nine who pumps it up the field to number five he's under pressure from graham and he's made to go back to number nine he's not tracked by jamie here as he makes his way into the box goes inside of graham gets around tomo cox is there over the slide as that falls out to number five he takes the shot to the right but that hits the side netting on the other end it's a long goal kick over the halfway line there it goes over luke and tomo's head here as it bounces Coxie wins his header there, but as it comes out, number two beats Luke to that one. It falls to number nine, who fires it to the right, but that's well over the bar. As you know, this is a must-win game for Strutton, and they've definitely come out the better side as number two picks it up, gives it to five, who clicks it on for 14. He cuts inside the ground, gives it back to five. He fires it, but that's an easy one for Sean to save. He's had his hair cut. I'm loving it, Sean. First real bit of possession of the game as Jamie throws the ball down the line. It's over 13, head into the path of Connor. He's being ushered down the line by number seven here, but he does well to get around him. He then brings that one into the box as he fires it across, but no one's on the end of it. Although well, Nolsey's there to pick it up on the far side as he gets it under control, looks up and sticks the cross. In, but instead, that goes over the bar. Let's try that one again. It's 
Jamie with a throw over 13's head, just like last time, into the path of Connor as he makes his way towards the edge of the box. This time he puts it towards the front post, picked up by Tugan. He holds that one up as he cuts inside a seven, plays it across the box into Nolsey, fires with a left, but that is just past the post. Much better from that, though. Jumping over it, it's down with a throw, up to Tugan. Number four wins the header off of him. 14 then puts it over the top. That is then headed back down by Dan into the path of Nolsey, who knocks it down for Luke. He then loses out to number two here, gives it to number four. He's then allowed to put this ball into the box, and on the end of it is number nine. Uh, there you go. There you go. One nil down in the league decider. Not good for the boys. Early doors. Good header by the striker there, though. Let's carry on with the game. Well, there you go, indeed. Scruton take the lead in this one, and deservedly so. Much the better side. It's time to roll our sleeves up. Kick off, and currently, as it stands, Scruton's are winning the league. Plenty of time left in this one, though, for twists and turns, so let's see how the rest of the game pans out. And it continues pretty much with how it's been. Scruton's with possessions. 13 puts it up for 11. He fires it with the right, but that's sliced and goes out for a goal kick. Here's Luke half clearing the ball up the field. On the end of this one is number 14, and Kieran. Knowles is there as well. Not too sure what the ref's given, but it's a free kick to our opponents. That free kick is launched into the box where Sean catches it, drops it, but pounces on it again before number four can put it home. Scruton's not allowing us to get back into this game at all as number five picks it up on this near side cuts inside of graham there fires it sean's not too short and has to punch it out for a corner we definitely not switched on at this point as the corner's allowed to be taken short number five looks to get past dan but instead he goes back to number two on that far side he then sticks it into the box first time as it comes off the head of number four looks to be going in but sean saves it off the line then cleared by kieran out to tomo tomo then turns defense into attack as he brings it forward with this counter puts it over the top up to connor and he flicks it away from number seven hits it first time it's a good hit as well but luckily for scruton they keep his position well if we come again now with Nolsey as he plays it into the path of two good he looks up and sticks it over the top to connor who's in on goal at this point but trips and that's then left for the keeper to clean up easily he then sticks a ball over the top similar to two goods as that reaches number five on that far side coxie looks to be seeing him out there but it's cut back for number 11 and sean's off of his line to make a fantastic save one of the best we've seen this season as it falls back to number nine all right let's just say what a save that was by sean and goal there see at the other end mate he trips over his own feet standard sunday league end to end keeper great save there he looks to make something happen. He lays it back to number two, fires it first time. That's blocked by Coxie. It's fired once again first time, but that's well out of the park. A little bit more possession going forward now as Coxie plays it up to Kieran. He sticks it in the air back to Coxie, who heads it down for Connor. He then gets it on the deck as he gets past number seven and number two here as he brings it forward. It's opened up for him as he fires it with the left, but that's just over the bar. Unlucky. Here's Jamie now playing the ball down the line to Connor. That's a slide through the back of him there, but he does well to stay on his feet and carry on with the possession. Graham then gives it back to Connor. Connor then cuts inside of two and gives it to Kieran. He's then under pressure from number two and 14, loses out to 14. It's a good little battle between these two, though. But it's 14 that comes out on top on this occasion, but Kieran's not letting that one go as he slides in, wins the ball there. It's the I'm just going to stop it there and uh, go full face cam for a minute. You see that, mate, uh, the fellow 11 with a tackle there, Kieran for Palmers. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Um, and uh, this is one of the and, and one of the only reasons I film our football is because we're we're all getting older now. We uh we ain't got long left on a football pitch. Three or four years, some of us. Obviously, we've got a couple of youngsters that will play for for a long time. But I just wanted to catch everybody's um memories, all of our football memories. So if anything happens to one of these men ever, like their families can go and watch them back doing what they loved and. Same goes for Palmer's ear. Like they've they've recorded all of their football with all of their mates, and they've lost one of their mates, and now that family obviously going to be upset forever. It never goes away, but there's, there's a little bit of comfort in watching back your the person who's doing what they loved, you know. Like, and that's special, and yeah, that's amazing. So big up Palmer's. There's a free kick to our opponents and 14 looks in a bit of pain there. Despite the protest from Kieran, he's going into the book. That's £10 to Essex Bay. And so the free kick is launched into the box and it's Sean that punches it over the bar and that's out for a corner. That corner is whipped into the box off the head of Tom onto number four, off the line by Graham and then once again by Superdan. Very nervy times at the back there. As we look to come forward now with two good, he switches play, but that's behind Jamie and into the path of number four. He sets it up for number 14 and gets around Tom one on one with Sean at this point. He stays big and makes a fantastic save. That's out for another corner. Corner is whipped in by number five this time and that is headed away by Tom. Now, my friends, it's half time. It just hasn't happened this Half, as, it, as it stands, we look to be throwing this league away and finishing up third. Someone's going to have to have a chat with the boys and Jira Mark because so far. It's... So, half time. It's they're 1 0 down. They need a draw to win the league. And at the moment, Scruttons are in the blue, are winning the league. This man on the screen as well, it, he become their manager, Tomo. Don't know if he was always their manager back in the day. But yeah, absolute legend. Freaks me up. Don't speak very much, but yeah, he was funny. Loved the tackle as well. Loved the red back in the early days.
It's just not been good enough. You've seen the games, you've seen the goals, you've seen the action, but it's now time to follow us on the socials. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know it makes sense. So here we go, it's just 45 minutes before one of these teams are crowned champions. Who's it going to be? You'll just have to watch and find out. You got this, Palmers! Come on! We come out this half a bit more positive with Kieran as he looks to take it up the line, cuts inside a seven, he's taken out, and that's a free kick. Goals, he whips the free kick into the box, headed away by number four. Once again, he's got everything today. Jamie tries to get the shot in, but it's not that powerful. That's blocked once again by the Spartans' defence. And then looks to be going out on that far side, but instead Jamie keeps it in, looks to put a ball in, but that's blocked by 13, and out for a corner. Goals, he whips the corner in, and that's cleared by Iraq, and only assume it would be number four. Brown now playing the ball up the line towards Connor, he's taken out, once again, that's another free kick. Goals, he whips that one into the box, he comes off the hand of the keeper, into the bar from Luke, who shoots, keeper makes a great save there, Luke shoots again, it comes off the other side. Oh, yeah, that's mad, isn't it? Like, goal mouth scramble, keeper saves off the bar, then, then put out for a corner. It's mad. It happens every Saturday, at least once or twice in every game we play, don't we? I love grassroots oh, football. That's too good to wish that one towards the far post, and you never guess what. Number four heads it clear. Here's Graham now playing it out from the back up to Connor, who's in his own half at this point. Loses out to number seven, and then sticks a leg out and gives away free kick. Free kick's whipped into the box by number five. Full in goes down pretty easy there as Kieran heads it clear. He's number nine for Scruttons now playing it up to number two. He looks to pump it up the field, but that's blocked by Tomo into the path of Kieran. He gives it to too good. He puts it through the legs of number seven into the path of Kieran again. He shoots, and the keeper makes a great save to send that one around the post. So once again, it's Nolsey that whips that one into the box. I think Luke heads that one away from this one. Jamie now into the path of Nolsey gives it back to Jamie. Quick feet from him to get past number 14 there. He's got 11 holding him up as he puts the ball into the box. It's a good one as well. He's got an oxygen for Kieran. Oh! Getting closer and closer. Surely something's got to go for a How did that miss? From Great save by the keeper. Give it back to Sean, but it's not the best of balls. It's played short. Number five gets the shot in here. Sean makes a good save with his knee there, and I thought he was actually going to chuck this into his own net, but he gets it to Graham. It comes 14 for Scrattons there, but that's a silly challenge from Luke there to give away a free kick. And it's 14 that takes that free kick, but it's a simple one for Sean to catch. And that challenge from Luke was his last action of the game as he was replaced by Kev, who picks up the ball here. He gives it to Nolsey. Nolsey then loses out to number eight, but as you can see, Kev gets straight involved by trying to win the ball back here. Gives away the free kick. And to be honest, this will suit Scruttons a stop start game as the time runs out. We really need to stop giving away silly free kicks. Once again, it's number 14 that takes the free kick and it's off the head of, yep, you guessed it, number four, and that's an easy save for Sean. And from that, Sean looks to put us on the counter with a big kick up the field, although I'm not too sure where the ball is at the moment. Yep, he's dropping right now down to Connor and number six. Six loses his balance there as he looks to drag Connor with him, but Connor stays on his feet and plays it over to his near side where Nolsey is. He gets it out from under his feet and tees it up at the left. Yeah! 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 What a strike that is by Nosy. What what a strike. And behind the camera, that's Andrew who films all their games, giving it large. The passion. I love the passion. Hey! Hey! Yo! Hey! Get back! Oh, no, no, no. I'm so you say done yet? Did you get that? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. And of course, well done, Nosy. What a hit, son. We are top of the league, saying we are top of the league. Kick off. So the so Palmer's not back, back now. top now. MM forward, but now we've caught on the counter once again. The Blues have got a gamble. Too good, but it's a little bit over hit, and Too Good's found himself a little bit too wide. There's not much pressure on him, though, as he gets it onto his favourite right foot, fires the shot, but it's pretty weak, and that's an easy one for the keeper. Here comes Scruttons now, number four looks to pump it forward. It's deflected off of Kieran onto the head of 14, who puts it onto number five. He then gets it under and evades time slide and gets past Graham in the same move, fires it with the right foot, it's deflected off of Coxie, and that's an easy save for Sean. But I say he, is, he did spill it, but he's taking his time to pick it back up as we try to get a few more seconds closer to the final whistle. Here comes Scruttons now with number 12 sending the ball forward. It's up to Dan, but he only half clears it. It's picked up by number 14, but Dan quickly gets it off of him. He then clears it up the field towards the half way line into the path of Connor who gets it under control. He's going to go on and try and do something. He's going to have to do it on his own, but he does hold it up as number 12 gets back and then he's got the overlap of Nolsey. Back heel from Connor into the path of Nolsey. He's got a lot of time and space to do what he wants to do as he cuts it back for Connor. It bounces up as he tries to get the shot in there and that's well over. But we're not going to be sitting back and trying to get a draw here. We want to get a win as Jamie brings it forward. He plays it up to Connor. He turns and this is looking very familiar as Connor plays in Nolsey here. Can he do it for the second time? Oh, oh shinned it. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. Last couple of minutes, this game of Scruttons look to get the ball back, and they do just that with number five as he gets it off of Kev. He evades Dan's challenge as he plays it into number 14 on the edge. Cuts it onto his left foot. Pass Coxie. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's the lead. That's it. That's the lead, isn't it? That's <laughs> Look at the kid there running off, giving him the finger. Literally in a park everywhere across the country when it comes down to games like this. Full pitch invasion. Scored late on to win the league. 
And yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's madness, isn't it? Like, like matter where you are, this is what football is about. Let's get back into it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not too sure what to say, but all I can say is um, this, this wasn't meant to happen. And it's at times like this you wonder, why did it have to come down to today? Why couldn't we have got the points earlier on in the season? We beat Chafford Park Athletic 7-0 last week, but we drew 4 all with them early on in the season. Sparks, we drew 3 all. We was 3-1 up. I don't know. I guess that's just football. It's just a sad way to end the season, to come so close as well. It's annoying. I'm just going to... Just going to let this roll out now because uh, I just can't be bothered to edit. But before we go, I just want to say thank you for your support because you've been great this season. And uh, we'll see you next season, I guess. And just like that, you win a league again. Like Jamie, run up the field, smash one. Maybe the keeper could have saved it. Who cares? And yeah, another pitch invasion on a Sunday morning. It's madness. Let's finish it off. Did somebody just say kick off? Kick off. Two minutes, two goals, two pitch invasions. Sunday League football. Now, following that goal, the ref has decided to play five minutes added on. And because of the length of this game, the amount that's gone on, and obviously through sheer excitement, we've forgot to change the card in the camera. So I expect to see a black screen right about now. But did it end that way? Well, I'll let you decide. There we go, boys. They've done it. They won the league that season. Let me just go full screen on it. Yeah, they, they won the league that season. They've, they've done another five seasons after this and uploaded all, all of it to YouTube. They've got so many, many videos, so many good videos. There's another season that's absolutely unbelievable. Get over there, like all, all of their videos, Watch what you can. Absolutely brilliant as well. Smith does a series now because Palmers don't upload no more. They don't upload full full content. They do upload loads of clips and shorts onto onto YouTube. So have a, have a look, check them out. But Smith um, does a series called On the Road as well. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant series. He goes around loads of grounds, rates them. His commentary as well on football is absolutely immense. Not even the the build up to that goal, the winner just let it let it fizzle out. It's, he's a genius, this geezer. So yeah, go and support them. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe to our channel as well. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, ASAP. I'll be back again tomorrow with another React video. I hope everybody has a good day and remember at the fucking park. <laughs>